What is it that makes a shooting vest iconic? Is it the looks? Is it the function? Here at the Clay Lab, our goal for today is to find out if Castellani lives up to his reputation. In the 39 years they've been in business, Castellani has assembled a great group of shooters that wear their vest. Everyone from national champions here in the United States, to world champions, to Olympians. Today on the Clay Lab, we're gonna be taking a really close look at the design, production, and performance of these vests. Today's video is meant both for the person that's out there looking to buy their first shooting vest, or for the experienced shooter who's tried everything and wants to learn more about the product they've been using for years. As always, we're not here to tell you what to buy, but want to give you the best information possible so that you can make an informed decision. So for now, sit back and relax and enjoy our in-depth review of Castellani and Ultimate Shooting Accessories. Before we get started, we have no financial relationship with Ultimate Shooting Accessories or Castellani, but they did provide four custom vests for us to review today. As always, we're going to be providing an objective review no matter what. If you think about it, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. It always helps out the channel. The story of these vests begins with one man, and that's Maurizio Castellani. Working out of Brescia, Italy, he's the one that came up with these vests back in 1983. Castellani made its Olympic debut at the 2000 Sydney Games, and since that time, Castellani has grown to encompass about 60% of Olympic shooters. Now, one of the reasons for this is that Castellani has a great habit of listening to what Olympians are looking for and what professional shooters are looking for in these vests. In the run-up to each Summer Olympics, Maurizio Castellani talks to previous Olympians and gets input on what would make the next vest special and what would work well for their purposes. Castellani then names the upcoming vest based on the location of the next Olympic Games. So in this case, the Rio vest, and more recently, the TK Pro, named for the Tokyo Olympic Games. This is what a lot of the current pro shooters and Olympians are using. Over the years, Castellani has established a pretty impressive worldwide network encompassing 31 countries and over 40 separate dealers. You'll see that much of this is centered around Europe with a headquarters in Brescia, Italy. In North America, we have a single dealer who has exclusive rights to bringing vests in to both the United States and Canada. Located just west of Chicago, this dealer has a great location right in the middle of the country and with easy access to Chicago O'Hare International Airport. That company is called Ultimate Shooting Accessories, or USA for short. And they were our main contact point for today's episode. The person at the head of this company is Mr. Tom Lotus. He has a wonderful reputation in the shooting community as far as being a great guy to deal with. And I can tell you from personal experience working with him on this episode, that he takes enormous pride in what he does. He produces vests for a number of organizations, including the United States Olympic and Paralympic teams, the U.S. National Sporting Clays and PTAS teams, the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit, and Scholastic Clay Target Program. It was easy to tell from talking to him the tremendous amount of respect he has for all of his customers and how much he appreciates their business, as well as the business of the various teams that trust him with their performance. You can see from this list of professional shooters and Olympic and international shooters that Ultimate Shooting Accessories supports that they've really assembled a great team there and people really seem to trust this product. As always at the Clay Lab, we have to do things the hard way and we didn't want to just take people's word for it. We wanted to test these vests out ourselves and be able to give you a good objective view of what they're like. Now for us, that process started on the Ultimate Shooting Accessories website. As you can probably tell from watching this channel, I'm a big fan of a good website, and this is an excellent one. You can really get a good view of what these products look like. And the one that really caught my eye is one that I had actually bought a little while back, but that's the Men's USA XCL vest. This is actually a variant of the Rio vest and has a mesh back on it. Uh, this is a very comfortable vest. I found that it fit me very well when I had one a while back, and we wanted to use this as the basis of our design. As you can see here, the sizing is pretty specific, 
And the first point I wanna make is that you really wanna get that size correct. Now you might notice that the main website doesn't have any customization options. And the reason for that is that once you customize a vest, there's no way to return it. This is actually a point that I talked with Tom Lotus about in preparation for making this video. And what he recommends is to buy the vest uncustomized, try it on, make sure it fits you. And if it does, uh, then no problem. If it doesn't fit, they have a very easy return policy. But the nice thing there is that you can then take that vest to a local embroiderer and use your creativity to make it look personalized for you. One thing I just wanna point out real quick is that there's a new vest. I mentioned it a few moments ago, but it's the TK Pro. It's the one that they developed after the Tokyo Olympics. And it's really interesting, mainly for the reason that it's got a sleeve built into it on the dominant side, on the shooting side. And the idea is that that's supposed to kind of lock the shooting pad in place and prevent it from shifting. I really want to try this out at some point. It might be a good subject for a future video, but definitely take a look at it. One thing to point out is that they have very good washing instructions down at the bottom of the web page. This is to help prevent bleeding. And we tested this out at the clay lab and actually found that it works very well. So feel pretty comfortable watching anything with a fabric or Alcantara pad. With leather, you're gonna to wanna to take it to uh, dry cleaners. What we're gonna be showing today though is the design process for making a team vest. And here's what we came up with. This is a variant of the USA XCL vest. You can see that it has a P-Task line and we'll show you all this in more detail. But this is the mock-up that Castellani does for you before the vest goes into production. Once our design was finalized and after the guys had a chance to try on the sizing kit of the vest, the order was sent over to Brescia, Italy for production. So from what I gather, Castellani has a pretty impressive production setup. Tom, by the way, you really need one of these buses here in the United States. Now I was surprised to learn that despite this being a big company, all the vests are sewn by hand. As you'll see in just a couple of minutes, this really pays off with their attention to detail. Now this manufacturing process is really fascinating and it's probably a little bit too much information to put in this video. Uh, but we're hoping to circle back and cover that another episode. After a fairly short wait, we received notification that our vests were ready to ship. The shipping process was actually a lot quicker than expected. Uh, even despite the long distance, I actually found that they arrived fairly quickly, so I was impressed. To help us test out our brand new vest, we met up with Cameron Hicks, a North Carolina native and pro shooter. Cameron really needs no introduction, but for those of you who don't know him, he made three All-American teams last year, and in his fairly short shooting career, he's had a number of big successes. So without further ado, here's our new vest from Castellani. To put it through its paces, we're at Cameron's farm, where he has two towers and over 30 traps set up including a pair of clay bots. Hey guys, Jeremy here, being joined by the other Jeremy. And so what we're doing today is we're going through and we're re reviewing the Ultimate Shooting Accessories Castellani vest that they provided to us. Uh, so you can see here, uh, me and Jeremy, what we ended up doing is we chose two different types of patterns for our actual recoil pads. Jeremy, we want to talk a little bit about what you've got going on in yours. Yeah, so I chose the Alcantara material. Um, there's pros and cons to each material. 
Um, I just personally like the way the gun mounts with Alcantara, and I like how cleanable it is. Okay, awesome. And I, I went ahead with the leather. I actually really just like the way the leather looks, and I like the way it feels. Whether it's like warm weather or cold weather, it doesn't really seem to bother me there. Um, but that's what my choice was. Um, I can see on yours and on mine, we both do have our actual fee task lines. <laughs> there it is. Scott will fix that. Cool. All right. And so speaking of the feed task lines, I can tell you, uh, I do like shooting feed task. It's, I can see here, um, out of all of the other types of vests that I've had going through and actually getting checked by judges when we're shooting feed task, has definitely been the most accurate. So these vests are variants of the USA XCL uh, vests. And I have had one of these vests. I spent my own good money on this vest before uh, linking up with Ultimate Shooting Accessories on this for a review. Um, so I can tell you I was happy before. I'm definitely happy with what we do have now as well. Uh, Jeremy, do you want to talk about some of the other features that they have on this vest? Yeah, so when I think about vests, there's a couple of key components. So one is going to be quality, quality of materials. Uh, two is comfort is a big thing. Um, and I think especially for Castellani, uh, the vest being very lightweight. So when you have them on, uh, you're not having to think about any of that stuff and you can really just focus on the shooting. Um, and lightweight is one of those things that sometimes you can think of lightweight as almost being cheap or disposable. Uh, but that is not the case with these. They're lightweight, but still quality. So they'll hold up for a long time. They'll still look new for a very long time. Um, and yeah, they're just good quality vests. What I like about Castellani is the fact that it feels like an Italian suit. Like there are other suits out there. You can go out and you can buy a suit. You can get it from any other type of big box store or anything like that. But Castellani is like feel good. Like when you're talking about like the actual fit itself, the fact that they've gone through and actually created a V notch inside on your dominant side uh, to make sure that your recoil pad doesn't move on you um, it's great but other than that it does really feel like a like an italian suit yeah very comfortable yes and i do like quality so yeah so what we're going to do now is i'm going to have jeremy uh, show you a couple of gun mounts and we're going to talk about why it's important to have a, a good fitting vest okay. so what you'll see is and the gun uh one of the most critical things really is just to ensure that the the recoil pad area is, is tight and snug fitting, that way it doesn't bunch up and your shotgun will have a very smooth transition into the shooting pocket. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, you can kind of see that from just different angles, even if I'm coming from like a turn or something. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. This thing doesn't bunch up on you, so I can def this is definitely something like in a vest that I'm going to care about, especially because there's, there's going to be all sorts of different people. You're going to have people that are just going to be pre-mounted every single shot. Some folks that are shooting from a low mount every single shot, but the best part about it is your vest, this vest is going to be set up for either or. That's what you're looking for. All right, so what we'll do is we'll bring Cameron Hicks in, and he can uh, talk to us about the origins of this vest design. So what's up guys? Hey man. So this is a variant of the USA XCL vest. Um, it was originally designed for Derek Mine at the Tokyo Olympics. So it's got a different back panel in it. Um, it's the same material used in the TK Pro. It's designed to keep your body temperature down, uh, fit to your body a lot better, and it's, it's very lightweight. Um, right now, the only people that have this vest is uh, Derek Mine and the Team Shooters, and then obviously the Clay Lab. This vest, you'll, you'll be seeing other variants of this vest uh, very soon. Um, so these vests, they have the four pocket design. Uh, some of you guys like to carry different shot sizes, different yeah. loads, spreader shells, whatever, cell phone. Um, so it's got four pockets. It's got your, your towel ring, uh, muff holder on the other side. All right, so, so my vest, I have the leather pad. Um, everybody knows I have a bunch of, bunch of Castellani, so I, I, I can't really tell the difference between either one. So yeah, I mean, uh, I met Mr. Lotus a couple years ago, uh, got involved with Castellani, and they, they, they're nothing but great people. Um, great customer service, they'll do anything for you if you have a problem with your vest or need help getting fitted. Um, I've had nothing but good experiences with those guys. So after getting our initial impressions of the vest, it was time to try them out at Cameron's place. Now, you may have noticed these things in the background, but because this is kind of a scientifically oriented channel, I really wanted to point these out because they're just the coolest thing I've ever seen. These are the clay bots. This is the clay bot Mark III, which is kind of their top of the line model. And Cameron also has a clay bot Mark IV, which is a more compact model. These are self-propelled vehicles that have a trap mounted on them. 
They actually will move around by remote control. You can adjust the pitch and the tilt of the trap and you can launch targets from a variety of positions. For a setup like this, it's absolutely perfect. Now the guys did a fair bit of shooting, but what you guys really want to see, in my opinion, is two uninterrupted minutes of Cameron Hicks shooting. So here you go. And this is where Scott will do his thing. Right, cool. Do your thing, Scott. <laughs> After spending the day at Cameron's range, we headed about two hours down the road back to Washington, North Carolina. You'll recognize this range from previous videos. Definitely check out the range review we did here. But what we wanted to do was go to Hunters Point Sporting Clays and try this out with Task. That's really kind of the ultimate challenge for a shooting vest. A lot of people may not realize that a shooting vest is not just for hauling shells around. It's actually to give you a consistent mount for your gun. And with a game like Fee Task, you're always shooting from a low mount. And that means that any flaws with the vest, any problems with the fit are going to show up right away. And so we figured that this would be a very, very good test for this. Bang. That's what I've been calling it. Bang. <laughs> All right. And then Charlie. Pull Over the course of a cold winter's morning, we actually found that these vests performed very well. And it wasn't a huge surprise, 
But what we found was especially nice was how well the recoil pad stayed in place and how well the um, buttstock would actually slide up on the vest as you were mounting the gun. Now anyone that's done feed cast before knows that it's a pretty long time that you're standing out there in the elements and we all really found these vests to be very comfortable and well made. At the end of the day, we were pretty satisfied with these vests. Performance wise, my Alcantara recoil pad felt great. I was able to mount my gun much more consistently than I typically do. Um, when I've practiced at home without the vest on versus with the vest, big difference. All right guys, so how did uh, how did you feel the vest performed during feed test? Not how did you perform, but how did the uh, vest perform? I think the vest did well. So like even uh, in this one um, parkour, I shot in both just my long sleeve shirt and then my sweater and it felt very nicely. I didn't feel like it's sliding around or anything like that. It was good. I did feel like Braxton wanted to hurt my feelings, but he did. He's sitting right over there. Yeah. He's still laughing at us right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it seemed like everyone was mounting the guns pretty well. It seemed to slide right up to the pocket. And uh, uh, did you guys feel the recoil pad moving around on you or anything like that? Yeah, no moving. Nice and smooth. It's great. I think for me, it felt a little bit more uh, natural than I have in the past uh, mounting the gun. Um, you know, I still shot real poorly, but that's all me. <laughs> it just happens. Um, and if you look good missing. That's yeah, that's, sure. part, that's part of what matters. Too. We look good missing. That's, that's for right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I guess it's time for main event. That's yeah. Right. All that's right. Do it. Woo! Cool. So after that first field test, the Castellani vest was performing really well. Next up was Super Sporting. For those of you who aren't familiar with this, it's very similar to traditional sporting clays. Uh, we'll go into more details in a future video as far as what exactly is involved in Super Sporting. Same thing with Task before. So stay tuned and we'll give you a lot more info about those subjects. Just some quick basics on Super Sporting. If you look at that green menu just next to JP, you'll see a menu of shots that you take during Super Sporting. For each single target, you have full use of the gun and you can fire twice. And then they have a series of pairs that you shoot. It's a great game. Oh. In Super Sporting, the other guys and I were much more in our comfort zone. We tend to pre-mount more than average uh, or use a bit of a cheap mount where it's just off your shoulder. And you'll see that in a lot of videos, but we're much more comfortable with this in general, at least in our group, compared to shooting from a low mount. Definitely something that we're working on though. Now, even shooting with a cheap mount or a pre-mounted gun, these vests felt very, very nice. And with this particular model, that little V notch cut into the dominant shoulder was especially helpful. Single Charlie. Mounting a gun, no problem. In the end, the other guys and I had a pretty easy time reviewing these vests. We found that they really lived up to our expectations. Some key points for us were number one, the appearance, number two, the fit and comfort, number three, 
the build quality, and number four, performance. In all four categories, this vest really exceeded expectations and received excellent marks from all four members of our group. With that in mind, we here at the Clay Lab have no reservations in highly recommending this product. Definitely check them out. If you live overseas, you can find your local dealer on Castellani's website. If you're here in the United States, I highly recommend checking out Ultimate Shooting Accessories. It's a great place to shop for a new Castellani vest as always, thank you for watching the Clay Lab, and we'll see you next time. Uh, so this vest was originally designed for Derek Mine for the USA. Uh, my bad. This is a va variant. I know what I'm this, supposed to say. This, it just doesn't come out that this way, vest, okay? This vest, I know what I'm well, supposed you to say. You, let uh, him try. Believe me, I'd be I happy to it. let you just talk the whole time. I can do it. I mean, I can do that part of it.